Chapter 4 The Past Shyla got scared and hid behind me, and when she was scared, I felt a sense of protectiveness. <laughs> yes, it's me, said the devious Diesel. Lady and Thomas were horrified. What do you want? said Grandpa Burnett with confidence. Don't worry, I'm not here for a chase or a fight. That comes later. And you, Puffball, I'm not going to steal your Christmas presents from you or anything. Whatever your devious deeds, your planning will fail. Oh? And you're going to stop me? Anyways, I just have a little message. This war is just beginning. Right, Pinchy? <laughs> the Diesel said as he looked up at a large claw that snapped at us. That's enough. Haven't you learned anything, Diesel 10? I thought that viaduct was already a big enough challenge, my mom called. The horrible Diesel growled, but before he could say anything else, a man leaned out of the Diesel's window. He smiled eerily and very uncanny at Burnett and looked away. This is Sodor's downfall. You should get used to it. And the challenge of today is, let's see if you are clever enough to stop us, said the man. For the little ones, you'll never forget my name. You will always remember me as P.T. Boomer, the man who scrapped the magic railway, the man said. Mr. Conductor stood up. With what army? I'm not the only evil force on this little island. Then he and the egregious brown diesel left. Curse it! yelled Burnett. Don't let him get to you. We know whatever he's planning is going to fail, said Mom. Yes, but what if it doesn't? I mean... We were very lucky last time, said Grandpa. He looked every second of his age. We have what they don't have. Friends, Lady encouraged us. And we shall stand united and fall together, Thomas said, trying to be a braver engine than he felt. Yes, we are going to stop them, or at least give our very best effort, Edward said finally. I'm going after Diesel 10 to see what he's going to do next. No, Edward, we can't just follow them. Here, I'll go with you. I have an important meeting with someone, Mr. Conductor nodded. And I'll have James pull your coaches for you, he said. Then he pulled two very long flowers out of his coat pocket. After some rushed conversation, he climbed into Edward's cab. You guys stay here with Thomas. Have you ever heard of a phone? I asked. Yes, he said. So, why are you using magic flowers? Why use a phone when magic is around? He asked. Uh, okay, I can't win this fight. You're right, I said. You know what? Luke, come with me. Mom looked at Mr. Conductor. So did Grandpa. Don't worry. He'll be fine, he murmured. What do you mean? He looked me in the eye and just ignored what I asked. Someone is supposed to meet us at the first railroad crossing, he said. Oh, okay. I soon climbed aboard. With that, Edward uncoupled from his train, as Mr. C and I were already aboard. Can I go? asked Shyla. Sorry, not this time. Your brother has to learn something very important. Maybe next time. Oh, okay, she said. Remember, never, never, never give up, Thomas called as Edward steamed smoothly away on the rails.
Mr. Conductor? I asked. Yes? How did my family ever get entrusted with Lady? And why does that odd man from earlier hate him so much? Glad you asked. It all started with your grandmother. Grandma Tasha? Yes. So, what happened? Well, here's how it started. Long ago, when Burnett was a little boy, he had an interest in trains. His belief was big. One day, he met me at Shining Time, and I took him on a magical trip on a railroad that was run by a little steam engine, Lady, that my family owned. We traveled to a place in the Irish Sea called the Island of Sodor. That's where we are now. Your grandfather was so amazed by the journey here that when I took him back home, he told his friends all about it. They never believed him. I mean, I don't blame him. Who would believe? But particularly, he told this one special friend he had. She was a girl, and her name was Tasha. They were very good friends, and she believed. I tell them stories all the time. Like when a diesel didn't listen to a tram during the winter and got stuck on a hill, or James's famous runaway. Wait, was that Diesel's name Mavis? Yep. Shyla reads a lot of books called the Railway Series about the adventures here. I thought they were just stories of make-believe. That's the thing, Luke. You have to believe. The future rests in your hands. You are the new protector. Anyways, Burnett told Tasha that one day, when he's old enough, he would be able to drive Lady and become Lady's caretaker, and he'd take Tasha with him. He even made it a promise. I didn't agree to that fully, but I knew someday I'd have to go away. But Burnett didn't always have people that believed in him. There was someone who had his eye on Tasha and Burnett's lies. Meanwhile, a boy named Boomer. His full name was Peter Tiberius Boomer. Peter Tiberius? <laughs> I laughed. Yes, but everyone called him P.T. Boomer for short. He was a very mean kid. He was a bully. Whenever he got the chance, he'd bully Burnett. However, Tasha would always have Burnett's back. Like I said earlier about me leaving, I had to go away for a while and I agreed to let him take in Lady. I told him to guard her well. But Boomer never wanted to understand anything about magic. He was always more interested in making money, because he believed that was the key to real power. He even grew very jealous of Burnett because of his relationship with Tasha. Years later, Burnett proposed to Tasha. Boomer became furious and vowed that he would get revenge. He found Lady and threatened to destroy her if Burnett didn't let him drive her. For the first time ever, Burnett gave in to that bully. I've never seen him do that, because he'd always stand his ground for what he believed in. Anyways, Boomer drove Lady, and he used up all of her coal, making her go too fast. Then Lady came off the rails, he wanted to sell Lady for scrap. I only found out about it because something was happening to the gold dust. Soon, he paid Tasha a visit afterwards. But Burnett, having learned about Boomer's intentions and seeing the damage he did to Lady, punched Boomer and the two had a great big fight. After that, Boomer ran away. Burnett and Tasha got married and they tried their best to fix Lady up, but they have never been able to get her to steam again. They tried different coals, but nothing seemed to work. And one day, Tasha got sick, and she seemed to get worse every day. Then one day, Tasha passed away. After that, Burnett started to lose the will to understand magic. He had it very rough. He hoped that one day, 
he would get Lady working again. Wow. I can't believe all of that happened, I said. Then another big thing happened in the year 2000, but that's a story for another day. Soon, Edward stopped at the crossing, and Mr. Conductor got off to meet someone.